be a real nice like. The NES had a hit puzzle game, Tetris, so the Genesis had to have a hit puzzle game. So they had columns. Looked pretty similar? Yeah, that's what I thought too growing up. So I pretty much stayed away from it because even at the ripe old age of 10, I knew a ripoff when I saw it. But there's a problem with that because while Columns has the whole vertical gameplay thing going on, it's not a ripoff. Further proving my theory that 10 year olds have no idea what they're talking about. Now the whole idea is for you to line up the proper colors in a row, clear them out. Three greens, three reds, etc, etc. But here's the big difference. It doesn't have to be vertical. It can also be sideways or, dare I say it, diagonal. Yes, mind blown. And it also had a magic jewel. Columns also plays way faster than Tetris. Tetris, kind of like melting ice cream. Columns, super fast race car. And throwing the two players could go at the same time, pretty good stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know there was a Tengen version of Tetris and that you could do that, but let's be honest, 99% of us didn't have that version. So why did Columns never catch on like Tetris did? Maybe it's because the music was so bland in comparison. I mean, they were clearly going for this Romanish type theme, but the Genesis just couldn't pull it off and it ended up sounding like a funeral. Now hold on, I'm not saying Columns is superior to Tetris at all, I'm just saying it's a different game. And pretty good. You win this round, Sega. Just 20 years late.